Shalom, Israel. Blessings to you guys. Hope you're having a good Sabbath. Alright. I'm going to share a little bit. First, I'll start off with a little music. Fair use. I don't own the music, but uh, this song is good. Play a little bit of it. I'll let you think. You guys will be able to hear it. It's good to have some music in there. Before I share, I'm going to share. Hopefully you can hear it. Selling their souls and this and that. But anyway, I just wanted to share that song. I thought it was a good song. Maybe you can look it up. It's by Courtney B. And um, anyway, all praises. I'm going to go in. I'm going to be in 2 Kings 17. I'm going to use the Strong's Concordance. And then I'm also going to look at Hosea uh, 4 in the Tyndale Bible. All right. And um, there's a lot of stuff going on. We are in the days that the prophets uh, was warning us about. And, and desire to see. Um, so, um, I'm going to start real quick in Luke 21. It says, um, it says, uh, but when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. Then said he unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, many places, and famines, and pestilences, diseases. And fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven. But before all these, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, giving you up, it says delivering you up to the synagogues and into prison, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. And it shall turn to you for a testimony Settle it there in your hearts, not to meditate before what ye shall answer. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your enemies or adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. And ye shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren and kinfolks and friends. And some of you shall they cause to be put to death. 
and you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But there shall not a hair of your head perish. And your patience possess ye your souls. All right. And that's a hard one for, for brothers and sisters. But in your patience possess ye your souls. And I had to exercise this. I get a call and um, I'll tell you, you got to be able to exercise patience because the scripture just said uh, you'll be, tr be betrayed by both parents, brethren, and kin folks and friends. All right? For whatever you've chosen to do. And me, for me and my household, we choose to serve the living power, the most high, Ahaya. Uh, what they, what they say his name is EA Asha EA Ahaya Asha Ahaya the ancient of days the Lord of Spirits Yah whatever you desire to use for his name God the most high the highest all right so we're gonna serve the most high all right so uh in that You'll be betrayed by both parents, brethren, and kin, folks, and friends, right? Um, people will ask, well, why you make this or that decision? Well, my decision is to trust the most high. You know what? I got a song that I haven't recorded. Or, or written down, but I've been thinking about it. You want to hear it? Here it goes. It's an old tune. I will trust the Most High until I die. I will trust the Most High until I die. I will trust the Most High. Right, so that's what I'm gonna do, and that's what others should do. And it's not trusted in man because man will let you down, man or woman, but the most high, the highest, the ancient of days, the Lord of spirits, he is faithful. All right, he'll never let you down. And his word is bond. All right. So, again, I'm going to start in 2 Kings 17. All right. And we're going to read that. I want also my brothers and sisters that are prayer warriors. Pray for uh, family and friends, of course. But my dog, Mama, so I would like you to pray for her, her bones and joints. Pray for her body. Um, scripture talks about how we should take care of animals and, and those in, in that nature. And so we care about ours. And so we know the Most High cares about His creation. So. Uh, we ask him for prayers for her. And um, I'm going to later, when I get time, go into that and look into uh, uh, the Testament, uh, the Testament of Solomon, uh, and pray that spirit away uh, uh, that's affecting her body. Um, Satan is a damn devil. I'm sick of that MF. And I'm sick of a lot of other MFs. Uh, <laughs> uh, no. It's just damn crazy how Satan is using folks. 
that he's using, family, friends, um, to try to uh, uh, make you doubt or, or um, you know, convince you to do other things. Um, and he's been convincing a lot of people by the tell live vision. Um, but anyway, we got to continue to trust the most high, keep the law, statutes, commandments, um, and rest and be watchful and be ready for the fiery darts of Satan. And he's, like I said, he's using your your loved ones and, and every everything he can use right now because he knows his time is short. And so um, I'm just going to spend my time prayer in, my, in prayer, fasting, and standing the word and trying to stay in the spirit, you know, and not cast my pearls in my swine. A lot of people say, where are you at? Where you been at? I'm here. I'm in the word. You know, and that's where I stay in the spirit world and not in the flesh. Um, but it's about to get physical but and and spiritual. One realm against another realm. That's coming. Well, it's already happening over your government. There's principalities and high places principalities in our mother, father, uh, aunt, uncles, uh, family members, teenagers. These spirits is trying to attack the righteous. So again, I don't know if you, you know, know but we are in the end times. All right. And like I said, I will trust the most high until I die. I will trust the most high until I die. I will trust the most high until I die. All right. Now, Let's get into it. So I'm in uh, 2 Kings 17. All right. I'm in a JPS to knock. And um, in verse, I'm in verse um, 13. It says, The Most High warned Israel and Judah by every prophet and every seer saying turn back from your wicked ways and observe my commandments observe my commandments and my laws statutes and laws according to all the teaching that I commanded your fathers and that I transmitted to you through my servants, the prophets, through his workers, his laborers, his servants, the prophets. But Israel and Judah, it says, but they did not obey. They, they did not obey. They wasn't obedient. It says, and they stiffened their necks. They made hard their necks like their fathers who did not have faith. They didn't have belief in the most high, their power, says the Lord, their God, Ahia. They sworn they hated his laws. They what? They sworn they loathed his laws. They hated his laws, his commandments, and the covenant, the agreement that he the Most High had made with their fathers. And the warnings, they hated the what? The warnings? 
he had given them. Guess what? Brothers and sisters have been given warnings. They're faithful watchmen. And they hate the warnings. They're the call. They talking about that this could be the beast. I don't know. Just watch out. It could be a precursor. It could be this is it. This is the mark. It says um, he had given them. Um, they hated the warnings that he had given them. They went after delusion and were deluded. Yeah. He said they were going to believe a lie. That's what's going on right now. Who's the author of confusion? Satan. Put on a mask. You don't put on a mask. The eighth to sit the masses can uh, get the virus or give the virus. No, it's the unvaccinated people, I mean, the vaccinated people that can. Um, uh, with who are contagious that can give the virus to others. But I need to put my daughter in harm's way. No. We stand with the most high. We're gonna do what he say do. Whatever he told you, you do it. What he told me, I'm gonna do it. So it says he had given them um, I'm sorry. It says he had made with their fathers and the warnings he had given them. Um, and they went after delusion. Right. And were deluded. They went after delusions and were deluded. They imitated. They copied. The nations. That were about them. They mimic, they copy, they acted like the nations, the people that were about them, which the Most High had forbidden them to emulate. He forbid them to imitate. He forbid them to act like, to mimic the other nations. So he gave them over to what? To believe a lie. Right. It says in verse 16, they rejected all the commandments. They rejected what? All the laws, even the Ten Commandments. You can't keep the law. They don't even want to try to keep the Ten because they uh, break number four on Sunday when they should be keeping the Sabbath, the Shabbat. They rejected all the commandments of the Most High, their power. How? Because the preachers rejected the law. And that's who they looked to. They rejected all the commandments of the Most High, their power. They made molten idols, images for themselves, two calves. And they made a sacred post. And they bowed down to all the host, the army of heaven, of the sky. And they worshiped Baal, Satan. I'm going to read that again. And they bowed down to the image, to all the host of heaven. Do you know them stars? All the hosts of heaven, them angels, and they worship Baal, Satan, the prince of the air, the ruler of the world now. They consigned their sons and daughters to the fire. They practice augury, um, that means sorcery and divination, and gave themselves over to what was displeasing to the most high and vexed him i'm gonna read this in my interlinear bible all right i'm gonna read this 
in that real quick. But I'm going to read uh, from 16. And they left all the commands of the Most High, their power, and made for themselves molten images, two calves, and made it an Asherah, and bowed to all the hosts of heavens, and served Baal. Let's, let's look up Asherah. Asherah uh, in the Strongs. Let me grab it. Yeah, we're going to go there. Let's see what our people worship. All right. Let's see. Strongs 842 in the Hebrew and Chaldee Dictionary. Let's read a, uh, H836 first. Oh, wait, no, not H836. I mean, 842. I'm right. Asherah. Asherah. Uh, happy. Asherah, or Astarte, a Phoenician goddess. Also an image of the same and grove. Right? All right. Let's go to um, H. Six two five three H six two five three. Let's read that. Some people want to be happy, huh? But at what price? All right. Um. Get it. 6253. All right. Ashtoreth, the Phoenician goddess of love. She's a goddess of love. And increase. Ashtoreth. That's the two calves that they worship in the church. Right? The goddess of love. They all want love, but love is keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, and loving your neighbor as thyself. But it says, God, uh, Phoenician goddess of love and increase, which means abundance. All right. All right. So now let's go back. Let's go back and read it. Um, and cause their uh, no, 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 um, sixteen. And they left all the commandments of the Most High, higher their power, the highest, and made for themselves molten images, two calves, and made an Asherah, and bowed to all the hosts of heavens and served Satan. It caused their sons and daughters to pass through the fire and divined and used incantations and sold themselves to do that which was evil in the eyes of the Most High, to provoke him, to anger him, so that the Most High was very angry against Israel and turned them away from his face. Not, no, not one was left. Not one was left, only the tribe of Judah by itself. All right. Only the tribe of Judah. All right. And it says um, in the JPS, they rejected all the laws of the Most High, their power. They made all molten images idols for themselves two calves and they made a sacred post and they bowed down to all the host of heaven why did they bow down because they wanted love and increase abundance the phoenician goddess and they worship bow and they worship satan 
They consign they con they consign their sons and daughters. They go over their sons and daughters to the fire. They practice um, uh, sorcery and divination, and gave themselves over to what was displeasing to the Most High, and vexed him. They cursed him. The Most High was incensed at Israel, and he banished them from his presence, his face. None was left but the tribe of Judah alone. Nor did Judah keep the commandments of the Most High, their power. See, they followed the customs, the ways that Israel had practiced. So the Most High sworn, hated all the offspring of Israel. And he afflicted them. He troubled them. He caused tribulation, persecution on them, and delivered them into the hands of plunderers, robbers. And finally, he threw them out from his presence. For Israel broke away from the house of David, and they made Jeroboam son of Nebat king. Jeroboam caused Israel to stray from the Most High and to commit great sin. And the Israelites persisted in all the sins which Jeroboam had committed. Jeroboam became uh, 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 the leader, the ruler, the pastor, the shepherd, whatever you want to call him. He was a chief. He was a leader. He caused the Israelites to sin. Uh, and, he, and the Israelites persisted in all the sins which Jeroboam had committed. They did not leave from them. They enjoyed it. They enjoyed the prosperity gospel. They enjoyed the love gospel. All right. It says, in the end, the Most High removed Israel from his presence, from his face, as he had warned them through all his servants, the prophets. And these ones are warning you about this vaccination. And guess what? The Most High is removing you from his face, his presence. Again, the Most High removed Israel from his presence as he had warned them through all his servants, the prophets. Surely the Most High won't do anything without revealing it to his, the prophets, the servants first. So the Israelites were depart, deported from their land to Assyria. We can say where we at now, America, as it is still the case. All right. Now, I just wanted to read that. It says, the Lord warned Israel and Judah by every prophet, and every seer saying, turn back. Think about how many prophets and seers there are now on the internet trying to warn the people. Anyway, turn back from your wicked ways, repent, and observe my commandments. This is what the Most High said. And it, it, it says statues and then and my laws, his commandments, according to all the teaching that I commanded your fathers and that I transmitted to you through my servants, the prophets. But they did not obey, and they stiffened their necks. All right? Oh, my. All right. So now, I'm going to Hosea 4. And I'm in uh, the Tyndale Bible. All right. It says, hear the word of the Most High, O people of Israel. The Most High, Ahia, has filed a lawsuit against you. Listing the following charges. There is no faithfulness, no kindness, no knowledge of Ahia, the Most High, in your land. There's no knowledge of God in your land. Babylon, a.k.a. America. You swear and lie and kill and steal. 
and commit adultery. There is violence everywhere with one murder after another. The cops murdering. Our own people killing each other. Murdering. Murder, 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 murder is going on. Three, that is why your land is not producing. It is filled with sadness, sorrow, depression, and all living things grow sick and die. The animals, the birds, and even the fish begin to disappear. Don't point your finger at someone else, Israel, and try to pass the blame to him. It's just Esau, no. Look, priest, I am pointing my finger at you. That's correct. He's not a respecter of person. As a sentence for your crimes, repent. You priest will stumble in broad daylight. You're going to die in broad daylight. You're going to fall as well as in the night. You're going to fall. You're gonna, you're gonna have calls come in. Nine one one calls, dispatch. You're gonna be falling in the day, light, and night. And so will your false prophets. That's right too. And I will destroy your mother, Israel. My people are destroyed because they don't know me. Why? Again, he said because you don't know him. Not know Elijah, Isaiah, Larry Tyree, uh, uh, Creflo Dollar, T.D. Jakes, Pastor Dow, Elder Ricard, Elder Rufus, Sons of Thunder, H.O.I., I.U.I.C. No, no, no. He said, my people are destroyed because they don't know me. And it is all your fault. You persist, I mean, I'm sorry, you priests, <clears throat> for you yourselves refuse to know me. The priests themselves refuse to know the most high, the highest, the creator. Therefore, I refuse to recognize you as my priest. I don't even see you as my priest, says the most high. Since you have forgotten my laws, my commandments, and his statues, and those are his appointments, feast days, and Sabbaths. It says, I will forget to bless your children. I will forget to bless your children, says the Most High. He's talking to you, priests. The more my people multiply, increase, the more they sin against me, the highest, a higher. The ancient of day is the Lord of spirits. It says they exchanged the glory, the honor of the most high of God for the disgrace of idols. They exchanged the glory of the most high for the disgrace of idols. What? Who can you compare to the most high, to the highest? Nothing. The priests rejoice. They laugh in the sins of the people. They're happy. They lay it up and lick their lips. They're waiting and they lick their lips. They're happy for more. They desire more. More what? Mammon? More what? Uh, 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 violence? Murder? More what did it say over here? Adultery. Uh, 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 swearing and lying. Stealing. Fornication. So much other stuff, right? They lay it up and lick their lips for more. They're excited. And, that, and thus... And now, and so it is, like priests, like people, 
He said, the priests are like the people. They're similar. They're the same. Because the priests are wicked. They're evil. The people are too. Calm. They're evil. Therefore, I will punish both priests and people for all their wicked deeds. Wicked what? Works. Actions. All right? I will punish both priests and people for their wicked deeds. And judgment starts at the house of the Most High first. His sanctuary. They will eat and still be hungry. Though they do a big business and I'm sorry, though they do big business as prostitutes, right? As prostitutes, they will have no children for they have deserted me and turned, they did what? Changed to other gods. They look to other powers, elves. Wine, women, and song have robbed my people. This is what robs the people. Wine. Ho-ass women. And song, evil songs, have robbed my people of their brains. Of their what? Their minds. Their brains. Their spirit. For they are asking a piece of wood to tell them what to do. Divine truth comes to them through tea leaves. Hmm. Um, lo longing after idols has made them foolish. Desiring uh, after idols has made them foolish. Stupid. All right. For they have played the harlot. They have played the whore, the prostitute, serving other gods, serving other powers, other L's. Not the L, not the Elohim, not the Most High, but serving other L's, other powers, other principalities, other gods little gods deserting me he said leaving him they sacrifice to idols on the tops of mountains they go up real high they go up into the hills to burn incense to burn what incense in the pleasant shade of oaks and poplars and tamarind trees using his creation to burn incense to these other gods. There your daughters turn to prostitution. In these cities. Your daughters change to prostitution. And your brides commit adultery. But why should I punish them? <laughs> Most I said why should I punish them? For you men are doing the same thing. Sinning with harlots, whores, prostitutes. You become in one flesh with prostitutes, whores. And temple prostitutes, whores, harlots. Right? So it says... There your daughters turn to prostitution and your brides commit, your wives commit adultery. But why should I punish them? For you men are doing the same thing, sinning with harlots and temple. Temple, that means church, uh, 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 prostitutes, whores. There are some holes in this house. There are some holes in this house. All of that. He letting it go on. So you can suffer through this madness. It says your doom is sealed. Your doom is sealed. It's going to be complete. 
It's already complete. He said, for you refuse to understand. You act like you don't understand. You act like you're in denial and you know what's going on in this world. And you know what you're doing too. Whoever's doing it, you need to repent. But though Israel is a prostitute, may Judah stay far from such a life. O oh, Judah, do not join with those who insincerely, that means not honestly, worship me. They pretend the damn liars. They understand the truth, but they deny the power thereof. But he going to show them the power. But again, I'm going to read it again because Israel and Judah is doing this now. It says, but though Israel is a prostitute, a whore, a harlot, may Judah stay far from such a life. Oh, Judah, do not join. Don't be connected with those who insincerely worship me at Gilgal. Look it up. And at Bethel. Why don't you go look that up? Look up those two names. Then read it again. That's your homework. Their worship is mere pretense. It's, it's an act. It's theater. Like a drama, like a play. And that's what's going on in these churches. People falling out and, and, and all kind of things. Just going to the church to eat, not to do Passover and do what's right. All these other things. It says their worship is mere pretend. Like, the most high don't see everything. Don't be like Israel, stubborn as a heifer, a cow, resisting the most high's attempts to lead her, to guide her. That means protect her, to direct her in green pastures. But most of these women, they ain't going to have a man or they're going to be women um, that are wicked and be like Lot's wife. How you can you be close to the prophet and then you don't know what time it is and what you should be doing or praying or whatever. But uh, it says... Don't be like Israel, stubborn as a heifer, a cow, resisting the Most High's attempts, opportunity to lead her in green pastures, uh, uh, successful pastures, um, things that are, are, are going to satisfy and, and protect you, and, and all that green pastures. It says, stay away from her. Stay away from her. For she is wedded to idolatry. She's wedded to uh, uh, worship and idols. All right. The men of Israel finish up their drinking bouts and off they go to find some whores. They enjoy their drinks. And then they're off to go find some prostitute, some temple prostitutes, some harlots, some whores, some wop. That's what they're looking for. It says their love for shame is greater than for honor. Their love for shame is greater, is greater than for honor. Mm. Ain't that sad? Hmm. All right. Therefore, a mighty wind, a mighty what? A mighty wind, a mighty wind shall sweep them away. A mighty wind 
shall sweep them away. Uh, and the note it says that the Assyrian invasion came about 20 years later. Hmm. Hold on. Yeah. Hmm. So, therefore, a mighty wind will sweep them away. And they shall die in shame and disappointment because they sacrificed, they gave gifts to idols. They didn't give gifts to the Most High or incense to the Most High or obedience to the Most High or love to the Most High. No. Nah. They gave gifts to idols. Whatever those gifts were, they gave to idols, not to the Most High. All right. So I'm in um, five, chapter five. Listen to this, you priests and all of Israel's leaders. Listen, all you men of the royal family, you are doomed, for you have deluded the people, polluted the people with idols at Mizpah and Tabor, and dug a deep pit to trap them at Acacia. But never forget. I will settle up with all of you for, for what you have done. See, the most high you're going to get, get you for what you have done. All right. Because you're supposed to rightly divide the word of truth with fear and trembling for your own soul's salvation. And so uh, should the people. But you, the priest, should be believed because they should be coming and sent and called by the Most High. And these are not. But uh, so he's going to judge them. The priest first, then them. The blind. The leader of the blind, then the sheep of the blind. But never forget, I will settle up with all of you. I will repay all of you for what you've done. I have seen your evil deeds, your evil actions, your works. Israel, you have left me as a prostitute, a whore, leaves her husband. You are utterly defiled. You're nasty. You're polluted. You're dirty. Your deeds, your actions, your works won't let you come to the highest again. For the spirit of adultery is deep within you. And you cannot know the most high. A lot of them, a lot of them, he's saying you cannot know the most high remember he was talking about because they don't know me the priest supposed to tell them of the most high and make a difference from the clean and the unclean that's how you know the most high he's clean holy 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 is the lord of hosts the living power Ahia, he's holy. He's holy, he's holy, he's holy. He's holy, he's holy. The angels sing, holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The Lord of armies. The Lord of the militaries of heaven. Anyway, the Lord of hosts. 
And the Most High is a man of war. And again, he says, I have seen your evil deeds, your evil works, actions. Israel, you have left me as a prostitute leaves her husband. You're cheating on the Most High. You are, utter, you are utterly defiled. You're dirty. Not holy. And he's saying, I don't want you no more. Your deeds, your actions won't let you come to the highest. Again, for the spirit of adultery is deep within you. It's inside you. And you cannot know the Most High. The very arrogance of Israel testifies against her in my court. Repent from arrogance. Repent from pride, Israel. The very arrogance of Israel, Yashurala, testifies against her in my court. She will stumble, fall under her load of guilt. And Judah too, even Judah, the tribe that Christ came from shall fall. Then at last, at the end, they will come with their flocks and herds to sacrifice to Ahia, the Most High. But it will be too late. They're going to come with their flocks, their groups, and herds to sacrifice, to give gifts to the Most High Ahia, the one that be who he be, the great I am that I am, but it will be too late. They will not find him. He has withdrawn from them. He has left them and they are left alone by themselves. Why? For they have betrayed the honor of the highest, the most high. And bearing children they that aren't his. <laughs> For they have betrayed, they stabbed the most high in the back. They honor, they respect. I mean, and the, uh, they betrayed the honor, the respect, the glory of the most high, the higher. Bearing children. Carrying children or having children that aren't his. Suddenly, out of nowhere, quickly, they and all their wealth, their mammon, their money, their abundance, their increase will disappear. Will be gone. Sound the alarm. Blow the trumpet. Warn with trumpet blasts in Gibeah and Ramah and on over to Beth Avon. Beth Avon, when you look it up in the Strong's, the house of vanity. And over to Beth Avon, the house of vanity. Tremble and land of Benjamin. So shape and land of Benjamin, hear this announcement. Israel, when your day of punishment comes, you will become a heap of rubble. The leaders of Judah have become the lowest of sort of thieves. They become what? The lords of sort of thieves. Why? Because they like to make merchandise of you, Israel. Membership this. Buy some friends this, that. Buy some truth music this. And I'm saying those things, if not in the right spirit. Trying to get paid for a Passover, a holy day, and selling you merchandise. 
And I'm talking about an unrighteousness. The leaders of Judah have become the lowest sort of thieves, robbers. As and, and it says literally in the note, as those who move a boundary a boundary marker. You can go to Deuteronomy 19 and 14 and Deuteronomy 27 and 17. The lower sort of thieves in the truth. Therefore, I will pour my anger down upon them like a waterfall. Hmm. And Ephraim will be crushed and broken by my sentence because she is determined to follow, to follow idols. Ephraim is determined, directed, guided to follow idols. Idols, period. It's in your blood. And, and that can be uh, statues, other gods, Mary, whatever. Ephraim will be crushed and broken by my sentence because she is determined already to follow idols. I will destroy her as moth does wool i will slap away the strength the power of judah like dry rot when ephraim and judah see how sick they are we're very sick israel ephraim will turn to assyria they're going to turn to babylon to america to the great king there but he can neither help nor cure. Can't put your trust in no man. He can't. Pharaoh couldn't do it. Science can't do it. None of them can do it. So again, when Ephraim and Judah, and what it means by Ephraim also, Israel and Judah, see how sick they are and diseased and and how off they are, Ephraim will turn to Assyria. Like Egypt or like America, to the great king there. But he can neither help nor cure. He, he don't have the answer. I will tear Ephraim and Judah as a lion rips apart its prey. I will carry them off and chase all rescuers away. All the people that try to aid and help be allies. No, the Most High going to chase them away. Why? Because they're supposed to be seeking the Most High. 15. I will abandon them and return to my home, his habitation, until they admit their guilt. And look to me for help again. For as soon as trouble comes, they will search for me and say, verse uh, chapter 6, come, let us return to the most high. Then they're going to say when the, when the plague is hitting the wind, uh, they lose their abundance and love and all this other nonsense. They're going to return to the Most High from committing adultery and prostituting with these other gods and being whores and harlots. They're going to come and say, let us return to the highest, the higher, the Most High. Yah, it is he who has torn us. Yes, it is the Most High who has torn us, and he will heal us. He has wounded, hurt, and he will bind us up. He bruised us, and he will bind us up. He will help us. In just a couple of days, in two days, or three at the most, he will set us on our feet again to live in his kindness. Oh, that we might know the Most High, Ahia. 
let us press on to know him and he will respond to us as surely as the coming of dawn or the rain of early spring. Four, O Ephraim and Judah, what shall I do with you, says the Most High? For your love vanishes like morning clouds and disappears like dew. I sent, I called my prophets to warn you to make you aware of your doom. It says to warn you. He said, I sent my prophets to give you warning or to warn you to prophesy and warn you of your doom. Of your what? Of your doom, your disaster, your calamity. I have slain you. He said, I have killed you with the words of my mouth. Threaten you with death. And suddenly, without warning, my judgment will strike you. As surely as day follows night. I want to read it again. I sent my prophets to warn. That means to protect you. To alarm you, to guide you, to make you aware of your doom. And I have slain, that means killed, destroyed, you with words of my mouth, threatening you with death. Suddenly, out of nowhere. Without warning, says the Most High, because why? He said, I come as a thief in the night. My judgment will strike you as surely as day follows night. I don't want your sacrifices, your gifts. I want your love. I don't want your offerings, incense, Mills. I want you to know me. He want what? He said, I want you to know me. The I am that I am. The one that be who he be. He said, I want you to know me. The ancient of days. He wants you to know him. Seven. But like Adam. But like who? But like Adam. Who's your father? Adam. Your Abba. Like your Abba, you broke my covenant. You broke, broke his agreement. And you refused my love. And what is his love? His protection. You refused the Most High's love. All you have to do is trust in the Most High. Not man, not technology, not the fallen angels, not any other God. So you're supposed to love Him with all your heart and all your mind. But like Adam, you broke my agreement, my covenant. You refused. You did not want my love. It hurts when a person don't want your love. Galid is a city of sinners. I'm going to say it right here. America, Babylon, is a city of sinners. Track with footprints of blood. With traces of blood. With footprints of blood. She was built on blood. Her citizens, her people are gangs of robbers lying in ambush. So they lie in wait. Yeah, them cops for their victims. Packs and packs of priests murder along the road. And the priests murder along the way. Along the path to Shisham. You got to look up these words. 
and practice every kind of sin. That's what's going on here. Sodom and Gomorrah practice every kind of sin. That's what's going on. Yes, I have seen a horrible thing, a detestable thing in Israel and Ephraim. Chasing other powers. It says chasing other gods. All right. Other elves. Not the Elohim. Israel utterly defiled. O Judah, for you also, there is a plent plentiful harvest. Wow. O Judah, for you also there is a plentiful harvest of punishment waiting. And I wanted so much to bless you. Mm. O Judah, for you also there is a there is plentiful. That means it's a a, 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 a large a huge harvest of punishment. That means of, of reaping. You know what they talk about a dark winter? Ephraim and Judah worshiping these idols. You trying to go to these concerts. You got to get vaccinated for that. First of all, you was all in line because uh, 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 I don't know. Um, uh, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger was getting his vaccine. Maybe you love that guy. Uh, uh, uh Cardi B. Um, uh, 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 Dipset, the locks, whoever. I'm saying the ones that took it, and, and oh, Mariah Carey. Yeah, she was on camera. Eric Clapton, those people that took it ain't nothing happened to them but what about you did they even take a shot but anyway so your favorite idol took took a shot and you wanted to go see them in concert and you want to go see lebron play in a bubble now you're out of the bubble you want to go to the nfl game you want to go see the Raiders? You want to go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trusted in men, huh? Oh, Judah, for you also there is a large, huge harvest of punishment waiting. And the Most High said, and I wanted so much to bless you. That hurt his heart. He said, I wanted so much to bless you. He desired to bless you. His desire is for no man to, to, to perish, but to repent. But if you don't do that, it's going to be a great harvest. All right. Dark winter. I looked up dark in the Hebrew and winter. All right. Um, and so look up the words. See what it's talking about. All right. And um, I'm going to read 7. Verse 1, it says, I wanted to forgive Israel, all of you, but her sins were far too great. No one can even live in Samaria without being a liar, thief, and bandit. So I'll take you to modern time. I wanted to forgive Israel, but her sins were far too great. No one can even live in Samaria, Babylon, a.k.a. America, without being a liar, a thief, and bandit. Two, her people never seem to recognize that I am watching them. What? Her people never seem, they don't think or recognize, understand that I am watching them. 
their sinful deeds, works, actions, give them away on every side, everywhere. I see them all. The king is happy about their wickedness. Biden. The princes laugh about their lies. The politicians. They are all adulterers as a baker's oven is constantly aflame except while he needs the dough and waits for it to rise. So are these people constantly aflame with lust. All right. And, and I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it there. All right. Our people. Got to get it in order. Get in, get in order. Know the Most High. I'm going to read this again. The Lord warned Israel and Judah by every prophet and every seer saying turn back repent from your wicked ways from your wicked paths or your for, from your wicked customs traditions mindset spirit turn from your wicked your wickedness your wicked ways your wicked deeds and observe my commandments and my laws according to all the teaching that I commanded your fathers and that I transmitted to you through my servants the prophets but they did not obey, they stiffened their necks, they became hard-headed and even more lawless, they didn't circumcise their hearts, like their fathers who did not have faith, belief in the Most High, their power. They didn't have faith in the Most High, the Creator. They hated His laws and the covenant that He had made with their fathers and the warnings He had given them. They went after delusion and were deluded, they imitated the nations that were about them. They took on the customs, the ways, the wickedness of the other nations that were about them, which the Most High forbid, forbidden them to emulate. To act out. To copy. He didn't want them to do that. They rejected all the commandments. All the laws. Of the most high. Ahaya, the most high power. They made molten idols. Molten images, idols, statues for themselves two calves, mammon also. But I'm going to tell you, when it, it says these two calves, it says Ashtaroth, the goddess of love. And the goddess of abundance, prosperity, gospel, and love. 
God loves everybody. Love, love, love. But you ain't showing no love to the Most High. If you love me, keep my commandments. Christ said, till heaven and earth pass, the law's not done away with. Not one jot, not one tittle. So they rejected all the laws of the Most High, their power. They made molten idols for themselves, two calves, and they made a sacred post. And they bowed down to all the hosts, all the hosts of heaven. The helpers, hosts is used like a waiter. To all the hosts of heaven, the sky. Oh, well, they bow down to all the hosts, the angels of heaven, the fallen angels, and they worship Baal, they worship Satan, and they was bent down at the, the, the statue, at the altar, the sacred post. They bow down to all the hosts of heaven. And they worship Baal, Satan, Lucifer, the prince of the air. Mm. And they cons consign, that means they was in agreement to pass their sons and daughters to the fire. That's what's about to happen. The little children. And they practice sorcery and divination incantation and gave themselves over to what was displeasing to the most high and vexed him the most high was incensed at israel the southern kingdom and the northern kingdom israel and he banished them from his presence his face The earth is his footstool. He looking down in it. And he see what you're doing. What's going on. He's serving the principalities. That are in high places. And he banished them from his presence. None was left. Heaven is, is his throne and the earth is his footstool. And so he's looking down, he's seeing it. And so he banished them from his presence. He removed them from his sight, from his face. None was left but the tribe of Judah alone. But nor did Judah keep the commandments of the most high their power they followed the laws or the way the customs that israel had practiced so the lord hated all the offspring the children of israel and he afflicted that means he persecuted he caused tribulation on them and delivered them into the hands of robbers and finally, he threw them out. 
from his face. Then he got tired of the stupor that was going on over the earth. They feared the virus rather than the most high that can destroy body and spirit. And that could destroy after death, send you to Hades. He cast them out from his face, his presence. And verse 23 In the end, the Most High removed Israel, southern and northern kingdom, from his presence as he had warned them through all his servants, the prophets. So the Israelites were departed, I'm sorry, deported from the land to Assyria, as it is still the case. 